Quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I am Pam Hiller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks for joining us today. It is the beginning of December. Emily, how many days till Christmas? 24 days till Christmas. Yes. I'm so excited here in the Dream Studio. How are so you? Did stoked. you have a nice Thanksgiving? Have Good. I seen you since then? I am still full. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I get that. I get that. <laughs> Mom did turkey soup afterwards. She yes. always does homemade turkey soup. So that's yes. like top three meals, Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, turkey soup after Thanksgiving. There you go. Hands down. There you go. <laughs> now you have some exciting news about your featherweight sewing machine. I did. I decided to, so when I took my featherweight class, right. we decided that because it was, you know, my grandma's who right. was named Sally, it was really Sarah, but everybody called her Sally. Right. So I figured Sally would be the perfect name for the singer. That's so. a great story. Sally and singer. after our show today, Emily and I, we're going to the fabric store and get her fabric so she can start on her first quilt. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, me too. All right, where is everybody watching to, from today? Valerie is waiting for a calf. Yeah, to be born, I guess. That's so cool. You have permission to leave if you need to go, I don't know, calves and things. <laughs> um, and Suzanne is watching from Sweden. We have all sorts of fun people. Wow. All right. Um, why don't we look at the new projects from our opening video. First up, we have this beautiful quote by Kathy B. So, Emily, do you know what dye this is? Now, I, I sometimes will confuse this with the maple yes. leaf, but it is the bear paw. It is the bear paw, yeah. And it's really fun. It makes a 14-inch finished block. So cool. And I love it because it is all scrappy. And I bet it's like flannels. I bet. It kind of looks like that, it doesn't it? It looks like it? that. Great job, Kathy. Next up, Nancy S. made this beautiful quilt. Do you know the two dyes she used here? I know I see the starry path. Yep. And is the other one, I might need some help on that Glorified one. Glorified nine patch. Nine, it is Miss um, Erica's favorite dye. That color And Nancy, scheme. I love the colors here. Yes. Just so pretty and the border is beautiful. Oh man. And finally, they have this beautiful quote by Regina F. So Regina, we think it's Lemoyne Star. You could also use your cubes to make it. Mm -hmm. um, you could use a strip to make the diamonds. Mm -hmm. All sorts of great ones. I love the colors, though. Yeah, absolutely. Very right. multi-seasonal. Quilters, <laughs> if you would like to have any of your projects featured on our show, be sure to post an image of, of it on our social media platforms for the chance to be included. Okay, I'm wearing my ha Santa hat because it's almost, it's the beginning of December, so we can do that. I'm going to take it off in a minute. But I have to give a huge shout out. Um, see my cute little Santa earrings? My good friend, Rai Guy, um, he is in my uh, Sunday school class at church. He is 10 and he made these. So That's sweet. Cute. Thanks, Rai Guy. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Santa <laughs> hat off and we'll put him right there. But we are gonna make this such a cute Santa block. Okay, look at this. Now for this block, you're gonna need two cubes, the six and the 12 inch cubes and both their pan, uh, companions, angles, and corners. And I'm gonna show you how to finish them. We, I've started a big project of it. So here is my photo of the day. Oh, this was last year, Miss Oakley Bug. Um, actually, it was two years ago, there was COVID last year. She couldn't sit on Santa's lap. <laughs> um, so the question of the day is, which dye are you hoping Santa will put under your Christmas tree this year? Ooh. What would you like Santa to put under your tree, Miss Emily? Oh gosh, you know, being so new, I feel like, so I've got my ready, set, go. Right. And so I kind of want to maybe build on that. I've been meaning to get maybe some applique dyes. Oh, yes. Um, did you watch the holiday dyes last week I we did. talked about? It. That you, was really fun. There were so many fun ideas for Christmas cards mm -hmm. and holiday, you know, just gift right. giving. So many great ideas. I'm kind of leaning towards like a snowflake and a reindeer right now just because oh, they're so seasonal. Very fun. Um, and they happen to be included in today's promo. Yes. So, Yay. you know, that's always good too. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for some maybe seasonal dyes under my tree this year. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, today we are going to make a pattern that was designed by one of our experts, Barbara Harper. Isn't he so cute? And a huge shout out to Barbara for designing this block. She was so clever and it all worked together. It's beautiful. This is a free downloadable pattern at AccuQuilt.com. And what's it called? The Go Santa something something. I don't know. I can't read that far with the con my contacts on. But it's okay. We'll find it for you. Sure. Yep, okay. Yep. Now, Emily, we have a great promo today. We sure We're going to take 25% off goes, an extra 25% off go dyes, cubes, and bundles when you buy two or more. 
So the code you want is 25 more, M-O-R-E, at checkout yes. to get up to 43% off. So like what's included, like the six inch cube is included in that? Yep, the 12 inch uh, companion sets would be included as right. well. Yeah, um, you could get both of those. You sure could. Accessories are great right now as okay. well. It's that great okay. time of year. Yeah, so, we'll talk yeah. about some Absolutely. of that. Absolutely, yeah, we'll talk a little bit more. Okay, so make sure you're getting two or more using the code 25 or more, and then that you can do it. Okay, listen, it's, it's December. We are gonna give away one of our Go 6-inch Mix and Match Cubes to one lucky viewer today. So be sure and share this video in your personal Facebook page for an answer, a chance to win. Emily will announce the winner at the end of the show. I'm really, really excited about this prize. <laughs> okay, so I have downloaded, can we get a little overhead here? This is the pattern. Oh, here I can tell you. Go 612 Santa. That's what it is. There he is. I knew, I knew there was something significant about it. Okay. <laughs> so here is the pattern. I'm going to tell you to go and download the pattern. Make sure you print it out in color. It's way easier um, to use. And rows one through seven, okay, right here. Um, I've already created this block, okay? And so I just, as we go through the cube, we're gonna go through all the shapes in the uh, six inch cube and the companion sets so that we can show you. But I just kind of wanted to talk a minute about some shapes. So it uses the six and 12 inch cube. Right here, this is, these, all these pieces are from the 12 inch companion angles. And this is that triangle in a square, that first shape right there. And then Emily, can you see right there, there's the kite shape? Yes, okay. See that? Yeah, I sure right? do. And there's a kite shape on that side. And then this is the outside of triangle in a square. So this is shape number 14. Wow. So all of these pieces you would cut with your 12 inch companions. And then this is so clever. Barbara did a great job here. So do you know what shape this is right here, Emily? I believe that's a parallelogram if I'm this seeing, is, or is that a trapezoid? It's the chisel. It's two chisels put together. Oh, there they are, okay. Right? I was the, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so think about chisel shape, that's from the companion set uh, corners. And then to make it into a rectangle like this, you're gonna need that shape number five from the original cube. Wow. Here it is again, chisel shape number five chisel shape number five okay they kind of go together but I do love this concept of taking two chisels and sewing them together okay and then this is um, shapes 11.1 and 12.1 from the companion set corners and it's in the non quote world we call this the triangle in the corner so here's the square Right, right here. Right. And there's that little triangle in the corner. I can't even imagine trying to cut all of these pieces by hand. Oh my gosh. Okay. But make sure you have your um, pattern. So we're going to sew row eight today. We're going to cut and sew that whole block together. And then I'm going to add them to my Santa. All right. Love that. So today we're going to go through all the shapes in the six inch cube and both companion sets. Remember, the shapes are the same in every cube. They're just different sizes. So I open one up. Tell us what people are wanting Santa to bring under their tree. Absolutely. Um, so it looks like Pat is looking for the tangled star. Tangled star. Judith is excited about the pin cushion. I think that's oh, one of my favorites. Listen, too. you should be making pin cushions for days. Absolutely, such a cute stocking yeah. stuffer. Um, Pam wants the 12 inch cube. Okay, it's on back order right now, but it should be in stock soon. Yep, absolutely. So keep looking for it. And then uh, Jennifer is looking for the nine inch companion angles, which those, if you buy another one, those are part of the promo today, Jennifer. Yeah, up to 43% off. So it's a really good day to make sure you're adding those two together. It really is, yeah. Perfect oh. opportunity. All right, so let's open up a cube and see what's inside. So we're gonna pull the skinny one first. Mm -hmm. Emily, do you know what's in the skinny one? Um, a cutting mat and a get started DVD, I believe. And a pattern book. Or pattern yep. book, I'm sorry. Yep, <laughs> and it's gonna allow you to get started with everything. And I always pull the skinny one first so you don't break a nail. That's just how the rule is. All right, so let's pull these out. And Pam, while you're doing that, yes. um, 
we have a customer wondering if it's possible to do this Santa block with other cubes. Yes, it is. Oh so Emily, what other sizes could we do it with? I believe, were you talking about the four and the eight inch cubes? Four and the well? eight, right. So you need cubes that are one cube that is twice the size, right? So six and twice the size is 12, four and twice the size is eight. So it's gonna make it a much smaller block, mm -hmm. but yes, you could totally do it with those. Nice, and you can save $100 on either the four or the eight inch cubes today. Wow. See, use that code, 25 more. Fabulous. Okay. All right, so we're gonna open up the cubes and we're gonna go through all the shapes. So remember the shapes are the same in every cube, they're just different sizes. This is the six inch cube. And the cool thing about the cube system is um, the pockets are numbered and it shows you the shape. The top of the die is numbered. So everything can go back where it's supposed to be. Quilters ask us all the time, how do we store dies? This is how you store them, like books on a shelf, right? We have some storage racks. We sure would that do. be part of our accessories today? Yep, that would be part of the accessory sale, Perfect. yeah. Perfect. All right, so the cube system is based on a four patch system. So shape number one in every cube is a square. Four of these sewn together, in this case, makes a six inch finished block. Now don't think in your quilting head, oh, I'm getting the six inch cube. It's gonna cut six inch squares there's some sewing involved, okay? And then all the other shapes combine equal to shape number one. So it's based on a four patch system. And we have lots of videos on our YouTube channel and our website about the cubes and how to use them. Shape number two in every cube are smaller squares. So there's actually, oh, sorry. There's actually a blade between these. So four are on this die. Four of these sewn together equals shape number one. Remember, all of our geometric shapes have a quarter inch seam allowance built in. So if you say to me, hey Pam, I need a four inch square, I'm gonna say, ooh, do you need a four inch square or a four inch finish square? Right. Those are two different dies. Yes. Shape number three, do you know what this is, Emily? Um, those are half square triangles. It is, it's my all time favorite shape. And what's really cool about the half square triangles and all of our triangle dies? What did we cut off? All those nasty dog ears are gone. All the dog ears are gone. <laughs> No puppies were hurted, but uh, hurt, but all the dog ears are gone. <laughs> and from this point here to this point here, that perfect quarter inch seam. All right, shape number four in every single cube are quarter square triangles. There are four on this die board. Remember to treat them like quarter square triangles. You want that lengthwise grain to go parallel to your belly or the label I like to tell you. The reason is it's nice and tight. You're gonna get a good clean cut, okay? All right, while well, I put these four away, Emily, tell us some dies that people are wanting under their Christmas tree this year. Absolutely. Um, let's see, Wooly's looking for some mitten dies, which- Oh, oh we have some of those. So cute. Um, Linda is hoping for the Dresden plate. Oh, there you go. Um, Evelyn would love some setting triangles. Oh, Evelyn, get you some. Absolutely. That's a great idea. And um, Owen oh, Susan says we're so festive, she loves the red shirts. Thank you, we yeah. try. We're getting a little Christmassy. We try. <laughs> All right, so this shape is shape number five, and these are smaller half square triangles. So in every cube, there are big squares and little squares, big half square triangles and small half square triangles. And we need to cut some of these today, so I'm gonna pull them out. Shape number six is not just a square, but it's a square on point. It's meant to live on its tippy toes, okay? And this is also a shape that we're gonna need from our cube, so I'm gonna pull that out. Shape number seven is a parallelogram. Um, some, do you know what's important to remember when you're cutting parallelograms, Emily? Well, I know that they're not diamonds. They're not diamonds, that's correct. So and they're gonna- Anything else? Um, Oh gosh, am I missing a, t a secret Pam trick? It is a directional shape. That's right, so you have to make sure that your fabric is facing the right direction as you're running it through the die. Right, so it's either all facing up or fan folding. Yes, good job. And then shape number eight in every cube are rectangles. There are two on this die board. Okay, so those are the eight shapes in the six inch cube. Don't forget they're the same in every cube. They're just different sizes. All right, Emily, while I pull out the companion sets, tell us what people want Santa to bring. Absolutely, yes. Ooh, Carol wants the uh, the strip dye bundle. That's a good oh, one. Oh, is that on sale today? 
I believe it is. Oh Let my gosh, it. for yeah, sure bundles, you should. Bundles are included. There you so go. Let's just double check. Yeah, that looks like that's included. So that's amazing. It's a great day to get that strip dye bundle. That is. Um, we also have, oh, let, oh, somebody got a, she says, okay, so Carol says, my husband got me a go big while I was in Arizona, Arizona two weeks ago. Merry Christmas to me. Yeah, way to go. Have Get some stuff. Show us what you're making. Absolutely. Ooh, and Kat also wants the go big electric. See, yeah. there you go. All right, quilters. So next we're going to talk about our companion set corners. So the original cube has eight dies put together, makes 72 mix and match patterns. Um, those are free downloadable patterns from AccuQuilt.com. If you add both companion, or then add the corners companion, you can have 144 mix and match patterns. Add the angles, 216 free patterns, Amazing. okay? So just like the cube, it's gonna have a cutting mat and a pattern book. Because what happens if you try to use a pattern or die without a mat? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Okay, so this next shape is chisels. And remember, um, in Barbara's block here, she took two chisels together to make a rectangle. It was really fun. And again, we've cut off the dog ears. And again, this is a directional die. So make sure you know which way you're gonna lay your fabric. Shape uh, number 10 is the signature block. And this is really fun, like if you were making a quilt for a wedding or a birthday and you want people to write a message like a graduation, this is a great shape to use it. And you're gonna need shape number five on the outside to equal shape number one. The next two shapes work together and this is what made Santa's nose. So these um, two shapes make that triangle in the corner mm -hmm. and we use these tiny little ones. Now listen, in the four inch cube, those are such tiny little half square triangles. They're super cute. Okay, so that's the companion corners. And then next we have the companion set angles. While I get it out, Emily, what are people wanting under their Christmas tree? Absolutely. Um, let's see, Ms. Helm says she wants the 12 inch cube. Hey, don't forget they're on back order, but you order some and Yes, yeah. Debbie, Debbie wants the 10 inch cube, but that is eligible for today's promo. Yes. Um, Evelyn says she would like the setting triangle dies. Ooh, and actually they asked whether the setting triangles were part of today's promo. They are. They are now part of discounts. They are. It's fabulous. Thanks to our team for doing that. That's a great idea. Setting triangles allow you to put those blocks on points. Gives it a whole different look. Absolutely. And I love this one, Pam. Okay. Um, Evelyn says, I'm hoping Santa will put more hours in each day so I'll have more time to play with my dyes. Listen, Santa needs to put more <laughs> hours in all the days between now and Christmas because it is a little busy. Absolutely. All right, so next we're going to talk about the companion set angles. All right, so again, we pulled out the skinny one first. And again, there are just four dies, just like there were in the companion set corners. So these two shapes make the block triangle in a square. And we're gonna need them for our Santa block, so I'm gonna pull them out. Perfect. Okay. And then this is that kite shape. Remember I showed you the big one in Santa's beard from the 12 inch cube? Cute. So this is the one from the six inch cube. The one from the four inch cube is super tiny and I love it. It's so precious. Okay, and then the last shape is this shape and these are trapezoids. So again, you can see where we've cut off the dog ears. To finish this out, you would need to add shape number three to either side, okay? So this is, or I'm sorry, shape number five to either side. This is a trapezoid, all right? So today, Normally behind me, we have a quilt. Well, we always have a quilt behind me. But today we want to show you something way different, okay? Behind me is the uh, quilt called Starry Path by our good friend Kay England. This is the back of her quilt. Oh, wow. So I'm gonna walk over here and try not to hit any lines. Okay, so look at this. Here's that trapezoid and that square. And this is the back of her quilt. Oh my God. So quilters, when I think about the back of my quilt, whoever said, ooh, you could make it scrappy or do whatever, Kay had a whole bunch of extra fabric and look at what she did with it. Isn't it stunning? So make the backs just as pretty as you make the front. I just think that there's something about that, okay? And I love the barns that says, come home to Iowa. Isn't that hilarious? So sweet. Okay. 
So those are all the shapes in the cube in the companion sets. All right. Oh. And make sure you download the uh, pattern before you get started. So let's cut some stuff. Pam, while you're getting that out, can yes. I ask a quick question from Karen? Hi, Karen. Um, how much bigger does your block get when using the setting triangles? Or does it affect the block size? Okay, I think what you're asking is how big does your quilt get by adding the setting triangles? I think that maybe was the question. Right? Yes, that makes okay, sense. Okay, so can we, can we get a shot of the quilt behind Emily because it actually has setting triangles? Yeah. Okay, so this is the uh, pattern we made last week um, called twirling uh, pe peppermint twirl. Peppermint twirl. Okay, so if you just had the three blocks that were turned flat, then it would just be however wide the blocks are. And I think they're six inches, right? We use the six inch cube. Correct. Is that right? So it would only be 18 inches, but we turn them on point, so the points match. And then we added those setting triangles, so it made it wider and longer. Does that make sense? Very cool. Okay. I think that makes total sense. Does that makes sense to everybody in this room? <laughs> Everybody's shaking their head like it makes sense. Yes. Because sometimes I say things that don't make sense, but that one does. So setting triangles allows you to take a square block, okay, like this. Oh, here. Here, we can do a demo. We have three little squares. Look at us. Okay, so these three squares are 18 inches, okay? And then if we turn them on point, then, oh, here, I was gonna measure. <laughs> okay. All right, so now if we turn them on point, see, uh. it made it much longer. So it went from 18 inches to 25 inches. Oh, wow. Okay. That was such a good question. Right? Right? And then you would have setting triangles here for the sides and here for the corner. Gosh. That was a great question. Right? This is why I love our customers. They have such thoughtful, thoughtful questions. Oh, I know. I just think they're great. Okay. So let's cut some fabric because we're going to sew. I've been, I've been chatting this morning. <laughs> All right. So first... Let's cut our um, shapes. I already took the shapes that I needed for the from the 12 inch cube. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I didn't. Joe did. Thanks, Joe, for taking these out for me. Okay, and I already had the fabric subcut. I gotta take off my shoes because I'm gonna sew. Hold on. Okay, that was such a good question, right? I never think about that. No, and I feel like I'm being reminded of all the different dyes on our catalog with all of these great answers from customers about what they want to see under their tree, Pam. Yes. Like we've got, I mean, Susan has, wants the, the six inch cube and companions. See? Marty, Marty just says so many. So many. Just all the dyes, just all the dyes. So <laughs> this is um, shape number two from the 12 inch cube and shape number five from the 12 inch cube. Now look, quilters, I own the go big. So I can actually run two dice through in one pass. This is one of those times where I go, oh, this is why I have a go big. Right. You okay. can race each other. <laughs> yep. Give it some love. Slide. Don't lift. Okay. I'm gonna leave those here. Give it some love. Slide. Don't lift. Okay. Okay. Did I cut two? I did. And I have not cut this one. This is the chisel shape. Okay, make sure it's included in the cube. Make sure you use a 10 by 10 mat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I do get that question often yes. about can you use larger or smaller cutting mats on your dies? And I usually recommend no with, with the bigger. Right. Unless you're cutting just like one shape, right. right? Give it some love. Slide, don't lift. And sometimes you'll get like one string there. <gasps> Look at what we have, Emily. <gasps> New to our website, Karen Ooh. K. Buckley, scissors. If you're thinking about stocking stuffers, make sure that you throw some scissors in there. These are just brand new. We just got them yesterday. Yeah. Okay. So many great accessories. So many fun things. All right, so I'm gonna continue to cut. So now I'm gonna follow my pattern. These are the half square triangles. This is triangle in a square. Make sure I cut the fabric the right way. Okay, and again, I'm gonna use my two mats. 
and run both of them through. This is such a fun pattern, and again, huge shout out to um, Barbara for designing it. I was really excited when I saw it. Love that. And All right, and then I'm gonna lay them out so we know which one is which and where it goes. Oh, I've got the, a great comment from Cindy Pam. Yes. She says for Christmas, she just wants my husband not to care about what I've already bought. Oh, he won't. He won't. He won't. Especially, he you won't. know, when you tell him all the great money you saved. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to make triangle and a square. Okay, I want to show you this because this is important. When you're cutting this shape, which is the outside to triangle and a square, mm. you need to fan fold your fabric back and forth because otherwise you will only get a left and a right. Okay, I'm going to let my little tail stick off there. Okay. Oh, actually, watch. I'm going to use my brand new scissors. Ooh. Nice sharp little scissors. Those things are so cool. They're so fun. I needed an excuse to cut, so here it is. Absolutely. I'm just going to trim. So when you're subcutting quilters, um, I just measure a quarter of an inch on either side and just rough cut my fabric. That way you're not wasting fabric. And those are beautiful scissors. Mm -hmm. Holy smokes. They really are. Okay. Here's our last two. All right, Emily, tell us why I run the last through two through. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Liz is saying, Mariner's Compass, please, Santa. <gasps> I like the Mariner's Compass. <laughs> Me too. That is a great It looks great complicated. Product. It is not. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, and Carol says, oh, she loves, uh, she wants the two and a half inch strip die. Okay, every quilter should have a two and a half inch strip die. Every quilter. And actually, that one, um, so like, say you got that two and a half strip die with another item today. Yes. Uh, you would get like that. another strip die. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, say, okay, say like the two and a half and the four and a half inch strip dies. Right, because maybe example. you want to make this into a pillow or something. Exactly. Those would each be fifty six twenty five. Oh, that's a great price. Yeah, they're normally ninety nine. 99 each so that's a great bargain that is beautiful all right so we're gonna lay out our pieces so you can see how they go together okay so I'm following my pattern okay. and shout out to Erica for finding this cute little starry fabric I love it this is shape number two from the 12 inch cube so this is the um, chisel shape and that shape number five from the 12 inch cube. Okay. And then this is triangle in a square from the six inch cube. So here's this. Love this. Oh, see, this is why you need a left and a right. Yes, absolutely. I see okay. why you did that. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to go down and do our square and a square and I'm going to chain stitch some of this so you can just see how fast it went together I really truly quilters laid out all of my pieces when I was sewing my Santa block because the chances of you sewing it wrong mm -hmm. pretty darn good yeah. okay so here is my piece all right so I'm going to move these dies don't forget to join Lynn and Erica and I on Tuesday, December 7th, 12 noon central time. We're going to launch our December die to try. Love that. Um, I'm super excited. Why do they want to register, Emily? Yeah, so they can be uh, eligible to win all those fun prizes that we give away on our show. Yes. Love that. And on. speaking of accessories, that Hang little one clover. Second iron that you're holding is the one of the perfect accessories to get away. I'm gonna away. plug this in. Hang on one sec. Absolutely. Yeah, I figure while you do that, I can kind of talk a little yourself. bit about. So I plug in my clover iron. <laughs> yeah, yeah there we go. Yeah. Yes, it's on sale today. Yeah, it's a, and I think that is a fabulous stocking stuffer among oh, yeah. the cutting mats, which are um, also part of this deal today. Um, you know, if you're looking for other stocking stuffer ideas, we've got rotary cutters. We've got those fabulous new scissors that Pam was just featuring. Right. Um, that wool pressing mat that goes along with the clover iron, so that you can, you know, press out all your blocks beautifully. A die pick. There's just. There's so Great many options. stocking stuffers. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And Emily, um, hold on. 
And mats are included, right? They are. They so sure think are. about making sure you're all stocked up on mats. Oh, I'm going to use my new scissors. Exactly. Ooh, so So fun. excited. Okay. Fun. All right. So this one, the great thing about AccuQuilt is that we cut off the dog ears. So I'm going to sew from here to here. All the dog ears are going to cut, be cut off, and it's a perfect quarter inch seam. Love that. I just, that's to me is the accuracy is so great. Yeah. It's just such a, a sigh of relief when you know that, that everything's going to line up perfectly when you sew it. <laughs> yep. All right. And we're going to just keep going down here. So look, I'm going to start with my um, square to square. This is my favorite block to show, to sew. Okay. Love that. So we're just going to keep going as we go. Absolutely. And we've got some more more uh, Christmas wishes for Santa. Okay, here. let us hear them. Yeah, Deborah would like the Snails Trail or the Storm at Sea, which are classic. Oh yes. Um, Paula says she's been very good, and she would like the <laughs> companion sets. There companion. you go, Paula. You have been good. You should get the companion sets. You deserve them, Paula. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to take my little shovel iron and press my shape here. Yep. And then we're just going to keep going down. Now, if I were making more than one Santa block, which you should, because this would be cute like as a wall hanging, um, I would do all of my shapes in one pass. You know, I'd sew them, I'd do, I would cut all my pieces and do all my rows at the same time. So if I was doing four, then for this I would take four, you know, I would cut four of these. Sure. I'm not saying that those words correctly, but you all know what I mean. Gosh, look how quickly that heated up too, Pam. Oh my it gosh. Did. Nice, Joe turned it on and I forgot to plug it in. It's all my fault. Well, that's so cool though. I mean, what a great yeah. feature. If you're ready to press, you, you know. Bingo, I use bingo. this <laughs> all the time when I am um, at home because then, you know, because as I'm sewing like this, then I can just, you know, press my pieces open. And then when I'm done, I press my block with a good press. Mm -hmm. Now, this is triangle and a square. I'm going to give you a tip. Mm -hmm. You want to press your seams open here because then it will lay flat. Okay. Ooh, Pam, I think I have a good question for you. Okay, ask me the questions. Kathy is wondering if you are using the four and the eight inch cubes to make this block. Yes. How large will it finish to be? Yes. I got nothing. I don't know. Okay. Do we Maybe know? We does everybody know off the top of their head? Um, I don't know how big this block finishes to. Smaller than this. I don't know. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to take and I've pressed my seam open, so now it's going to work just great. <gasps> so, Brock, you're good to keep going down there. Yep. Perfect. I love, and we're getting there. I love this idea too, Pam. Susie says this pattern would be great, would make great elves too if you change the color scheme. Okay, so now I gotta look and see how it would be an elf. That's true, it would. Maybe you could give him like a, a little dark beard instead of a white yes, beard. Yes, you and could. Maybe a green elf hat and. See, oh cultures, you guys are so clever. So clever. I was just super happy to find a Santa. Okay, so I'm just chain piecing, making my square and squares. You know how I love to do that, okay? Aww. This is so sweet. Bree says that she's been wanting AccuQuilt for a couple years. These sales in the past couple weeks that we've been doing has allowed her to get a great collection of dies and a cutter. Yay, Bree. Okay, Bree, so open it up. Listen, I don't care if it's for Christmas, just put the box under the tree. Open it up and sew some stuff and send us pictures so we know what you're doing. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, tag us so we can see it. All right, so this is square and a square. And when you do this, the square is gonna be on point, right? So I always press to the outside. And some of you are gonna say, ooh, Pam, this isn't gonna work. But really it is because we cut off the dog ears. Hold on. I'll show you. Okay, so now watch. <clears throat> I'm gonna lay that right there. Oh, works perfectly. 
and then I'll do the bottom. Perfect. All right, what else do people want under their tree while I'm sewing, Emily? Absolutely, yeah, I just, I see the cutest comment from Jackie. She just gave her nephew a sewing machine and is going to give him this, her extra go me because he's been watching with the go big and absolutely loves it. He wants to get him. Oh, there so. you go. And the Go Me is $30 off for all of you, those younger quilters who are let, looking to get started. So there you go. Great, okay, love I the Go Me. I just broke my thread here, so just give me a second while I do it. Tell us what else people are doing. Why? Yes. This is live. This is what happens when you have live stuff. Absolutely. Oh, and actually, um, Donna is wondering where we find those coloring pages that, you know, how you typically mention, like, those coloring pages oh, right, for those to change. dyes and stuff? Yeah, those can actually be found um, in the block assembly instructions um, yes. on every item page. Um, right beneath the little add to bag button, you'll see a green text which says block assembly instructions. If you click on that, it'll pop up all those instructions for you. And I believe it's like the first or the last page that has that coloring page, if I'm correct. In case any of you wondered, Emily's day job is she helps with customer experience. <laughs> yes. So. She knows all of those good things. Yes, any of those website questions, happy to answer y'all. Yes, <laughs> That's what she does, okay? Absolutely. So now we're making our our little Santa at the end of his hat and look we even had to re thread the needle and it all worked fine wow. you make it look so easy Pam oh listen it's a good thing I have my contact lenses in if I had my glasses on I'd have to take them off so that I could see what the heck I was doing <laughs> so I love that all the days Ooh, Dolores says she would like a storage cabinet for her dyes oh wow and we sell those those we are do. fantastic we do yeah oh Linda would also like a storage table guys it's a great time to invest in one you it know, is if you're, if you're investing in dyes you know and you're wanting to store them the right way those quilting um, tables and cabinets that we sell mm -hmm. are just they've got the little um, uh, kind of uh, shelfy bookshelf right. type layout so you can just right. store your dyes safely. You can store your cutting mats in one spot. It is it is fabulous. Okay, look, he's coming together. Okay, so we're just gonna sew all of these pieces together and we will be able to finish our little Santa block. How fun. He is so cute. <laughs> he is so cute. I love this, Pam. Pat says she wants a carpenter under the tree to build shelves for her dyes. Oh, listen. <laughs> we had a whole conversation about that at the, uh, the Heller house just the other day. Really? Oh, yeah. I was like, Ray, we got to do something. <laughs> and here's what he said. He what? said, I, I think you don't need any more dyes. I said, no, that's not really the answer. Yeah, that's not the answer to that question. Not the answer. No, no, no. <laughs> We do. I am really excited about Tuesday. Um, we're going to have our Die to Try for the month of December. That's right. It is stunning, quilters. Ooh, I can't wait to see it. I know. I'm excited. I haven't seen it yet. Have you not? No, I haven't oh, seen it. Oh, when you're one. done, when we're done here, I'll show you. It's right over there. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Sneak peek. Hey. I know. Sneak peeks. <laughs> I know. I love that. The whole team has seen them. It's good. And y'all have another, you have a holiday gift guide show coming up, don't you? Do I? I don't know. I believe sure. we do. We've got a holiday gift guide show. Oh, tomorrow. Up, tomorrow night. Um, with, uh, with Mark Down Mike. Mark Down Mike. And yeah. um, I'd, I'd just like to put this out there, Quilters, okay. as we're talking about holiday giving, right now is a great time to do a gift card for those you love. I mean, if, you, right. if you're not sure what that quilter has in, in their in their repertoire, then, you know. You can just e email them. Yeah, They're exactly. just great in any amount. Yep, just... you can put your little gift message in there. Yes. Love you so much, happy holidays, and yep. just shoot it off on to them and let them choose exactly what they want. Oh yeah, absolutely, Love that's that. a great idea. And what time is our Markdown Mike show tomorrow? Do we know? I believe, is it noon central, or excuse no, me, it's at in the three o'clock. Look, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, I'm sorry, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock central time. <laughs> Wow, that's a late show. <laughs> yes, we have Mark Down Mike, and he's going to come in and give us some holiday ideas. I'm excited about it. That. And it's just a super quick show, like 15 minutes long. Oh, wow, perfect. Yep. Yeah, sign on after dinner. I do. I think sometimes people are like, oh, what should I, you know, give the quilter in my life? You know, what, what should I give? 
Absolutely. Okay. And I'm just sewing this while we all talk. Oh, did I do that right? I did. Okay. And I have one last piece to sew. Perfect. KJ says she wants a maid for Christmas, so she has time to use the AccuQuilt. Oh, yeah. I agree with that, yeah. KJ. I'm right there. Listen, there is not much cooking from Thanksgiving to Christmas at our house. <laughs> Just all those things. All right. Here we go. Ready? Ta-da! Look at how fun that is. Thank you, Brock. <laughs> okay, so here is our little, um, his cat. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, so I'm going to press these real quick, and then I'm going to sew it onto the block, and the block will be all done. But the question you need to ask yourself is, why is AccuQuilt better than a rotary cutter? Okay. First of all, these pieces, I cannot even imagine trying to cut these shapes by hand. It would take you so long and they would never, ever be accurate, okay? AccuQuilt cuts 90% faster than a rotary cutter or ruler and it's gonna be accurate every time, whether it's the first cut or the last cut, it's, you know, a thousand cuts, it's gonna work every single time. Okay. Hey, Emily, don't forget, what's our promo today? Yes, we've got a fabulous promotion for tw the, with the code 25MORE. You'll receive 25% off Go dies, cubes, bundles, and accessories when you buy two or more. Okay, so we were talking about the four and eight inch cubes. We were talking about the companion sets. Yes, those companion sets for the four and eight inch cubes would be $97.50 each. Perfect. Which is, oh my gosh, you could basically, it's, it's basically almost a BOGO. I mean, yeah. really, when you do the math, it's like. Yeah, pretty buckets. much. Um, much. Yeah. And don't forget today to share because we're almost done and I'm going to give away a six inch cube at the end of our show. Hey. So don't forget to share. Oh, you know, love that. we have a pin cushion die. Somebody wanted it. I'm going to pin this love just that. to make sure that it all, I know Erica would be proud. <laughs> all right. And while I'm pinning, tell us, Emily, do we have any more questions? Yes, actually, I have a couple. I have a com I have a couple comments, and I think I have a question as well. Um, Barbara has a suggestion. You can change the eyes out from diamonds, square on point, to round eyes by using the snowball with this. Oh, you are correct. Which would be kind of cool. Uh, that would be cool. Wilma thinks you, that you should make two: one smiling, one frowning, and call it naughty or nice. Oh, that is super <laughs> cute. <laughs> That is a cute idea. Ooh, Judy wants to know how many dyes does Pam have? Oh, um, I have quite a few. Now, in my defense, um, I am the luckiest person at AccuQuilt because I get to test new dyes. So all the dyes that are coming out, I get to test those, which is fun. And then um, we, you know, I use them for AQ Lives and our video shoots and stuff. So. Um, Probably in the past years, um, I've really increased my collection. Um, but I can tell you I have all the sizes of the cubes. And if you are looking today to do one thing, I'm going to tell you get those cubes, cubes and companion sets. Because really, truly, you can ma mix them and match them with bobs. You can do all sorts of stuff. Yes. So... Absolutely, and the four, six, eight, and nine inch cubes are all gonna be, if you if you buy two or more, they're each gonna be 150. Oh, see, that's such a great price. Unbelievable, you're saving $100. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. And um, whoever did that math, so we're saving $100, thank you. <laughs> I can remember that. Okay, so I'm just kinda going slow here, make sure I have my Santa all done. I'm really excited to show you him. Yes. Oh, Peggy has a good question. She just, okay, Peggy. Bought, she just bought the eight inch cube and is wondering if we have any suggestions of what her next die might be or, or companion. Oh gosh. Okay, so today, if you have the eight inch cube, I'm gonna tell you today, get both companions. That's corners cool. and angles. Yes. And then you're set. Because the thing about the cubes, it's based on a four patch, but you can also make bigger blocks. Like you can use your eight inch cube to make 12 inch blocks. and and so forth. And so um, I would tell you, gosh, that's what I would get is Absolutely. companion sets today. That's great. Yeah. 
this. We're almost done. Don't forget. Hey, Emily, why I'm sewing this last one, do you want to talk to everybody about our blog? Oh, absolutely. I'd love to talk about the blog. So that the, our blog is a fabulous place to engage with AccuQuilt. Um, our go-getters are on there uh, answering questions. They're putting up articles and uh, blogs about all sorts of different topics. They're seasonal. It's so much fun. And we have exclusive patterns on that blog. So you're going to find them, find patterns on there that you cannot find anywhere else. I know. I think that that's amazing. It really is. Yeah. All right, quilters, you have one last chance to share. So you can walk away today with a six inch cube. Um, be sure and share it on your personal Facebook page. And in just a few minutes, um, Morgan's going to choose and Emily's going to announce a winner at oh the boy. end. All right. So let's look at my blog. Okay. So we sewed those five shapes together. We added it to the corner, and look at how cute he is. Oh, my gosh. I just love him. Um, so I had a couple of ideas, like what could you do with this block, right? Mm -hmm. So I am thinking that I'm probably going to add some more of this starry um, fabric around the edge yes. and make him into a pillow, I which I think that. would be really fun. I also, because, you know, I sit around and think about stuff, you can cut, not only can you cut cotton, but you can cut other fabrics. Yes. So maybe you want to get some, like, fuzzy fabric for his beard and his um, trim and his hat. That could be so Because then it's, like, three-dimensional. Yeah. I do like the naughty and nice one. I think that's so funny. That's um, but you could put four together, and it would make a really fun table topper or wall hanging for the holiday season. Um, you could add a border. We talked about strip dies today. Two and a half inch strip is the one you always want. But you could add a wider one, like a four and a half inch border around and just make a really fun wall hanging. Um, I just think he's super cute. Okay. Don't forget to join Lynn and Eric and I on Tuesday, December 7th at 12 noon central time as we launch our December die to try. It is the perfect prairie tail. Be sure to register in the link for the chance to win prizes. And last time, what's our promo today, Miss Emily? Absolutely. Um, we have 25% off go dies, cubes, bundles, and accessories when you buy two or more. Okay. It's going to be up to 43% off the original purchase price, so that's right. a great savings. Um, and the code is going to be 25 more. That's 25-M-O-R-E. Perfect. And think about that. Think about mats and cubes and companion sets. Yes. Think about strip dies. Mm. I love a good strip die. Fabulous. I, okay, I can tell you that we have 18 sizes of strip dies. I probably have 15, probably. Wow. I use strip dies all the time, okay? All right, are we ready to announce a winner? Did Miss Morgan pick one for us? We surely do. All right, here we one. go. All right, drum roll, please. Missy Hetrick Dixon. Congratulations, Congratulations. Missy. Our team is going to reach out to you. You're the winner of the six inch cube. Oh, I'm excited about that. Okay, quilters, don't forget to join us next week for our AccuQuilt Live. Um, we're going to talk about our newest die to try. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. On behalf of our entire AQ Live team, um, offsite we have Morgan and we have Leslie here. She's actually in the office today. And in the studio with me today, I have Joe and Brock and Greg and, of course, Emily. I'm Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. Have a good day. Hey, don't forget to watch us tomorrow. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. <laughs>